Hi team, we're in the banquet room at the district and tomorrow on Saturday, November 10th, we will host a men's breakfast serving about 80 guys. Whether we have 50 guys, 60 guys, or 80 guys, the setup is always the same format uh, with very few changes. So we're going to review this to make it easier for you in setting up what you're doing. The first thing we start with is uh, a floor plan on paper. You can see that we have uh, from the right table one, which is that long table there. We have table two, which is uh, the table here up against the wall. And then we have table three, which sits on the red wall right over here. So when you're looking at the document, you know, getting ready, uh, pulling your utensils, your pans, your, your trays, napkins, plates, silverware, whatever. You can walk around the, the uh, district to the banquet room and to the events room, the dry storage room and so forth, and gather all your materials by looking at this legend here because it shows you exactly what to set up and where to set it up on each table, one, two, and three. And so we're gonna review that setup uh, now in real time. Here we have the silverware. So the first things first is the silverware. After that, we have the plates and napkins. Uh, we typically will use these uh, nicer quality, heavier duty Chinette plates, uh, but we've had a few events uh, recently where we just wanna use up these foam plates, get them out of the way. We have nice napkins. Um, you'll see the surge strip back there. Sometimes we'll have a crock pot or a Dutch oven that has something hot. So we have it ready to just plug in and serve. And you can see the chafers have already been set up. Uh, underneath are the sternos already uh, in place, ready to light and go. The reason why we have these uh, hotel pans setting uh, the way they are is because it provides access to the water pan so that we can pour the hot water straight in there. And then once we do that, then we'll just slide the hotel pan to the side. It'll drop in for us. You can see that we have the serving utensils already near the chafer, in addition to a label that says, hey, this is what's going on inside here. And so once we put the food product in, say for example, the hash browns, we'll take this uh, spoon here, we'll put it in there and then just leave it in there. This little, these foam bowls here will go away um, eventually. And so here we have, you know, the andouille sausage with peppers and onions, the bacon and sausage. We've got the chorizo and egg roll ups. Uh, we'll have some chips and salsa here, the fresh fruit medley. And then moving on over here to the left is the uh, bread station. So we'll have Texas or organic toast here. Uh, we'll bring in a toaster by tomorrow. That toaster will sit uh, right back there in that area. And we have the French toast sticks and delivered hot and fresh from the bakery will be Pete's oven donuts to cap things off. So just wanted to review the setup. Uh, so that you can see the food tables. Again, whether we have 50, 60, 80, or 100 people, uh, the setup is exactly the same. It's just the amounts of food that change. As the years progress, I'm sure we'll uh, get creative and do an omelet station or a crepe station or something like that. But generally speaking, this is our template. Uh, don't forget garbages. So we want a garbage uh, there. You can see there's, there's a garbage back there by that table as well. We'll end up moving that around. Usually I don't like having garbages by food tables. And so those two garbage cans will actually sit right there uh, in the corner so that they're accessible, but just kind of not near the food. If you have any questions, let me know. And uh, last but not least, little detail. You don't see salt and pepper shakers on the tables, but those get put out in the morning by our team of volunteers. Um, we're going to move into the cafe now the lights are off so it's a little bit harder to see in here uh, but you can see we have the coffee cups and the juice cups back there already on the counter ready to go we'll set bottled water and OJ out and uh, we'll be ready to pull the trigger on this puppy see you soon bye